welcome to my channel. Today I want to try to do something a little different. It's not different for the graphic designers on YouTube, but I'm new here. I'm the new kid on the block. So I want to actually go ahead and try the redesigning of things that you see all the time. So I went around my house before the video started and I was like, well, it's after, it just was Halloween. I was like, do I really want to step into candy? And the answer is no. Um, especially because my kids got the good candy, so I don't think there's really a need to rebrand that. But I did um, stumble upon my seasoning. So I decided I am going to redo Obey. Now, Obey is not bad, like, don't get it twisted. I'm from Maryland, though, where we do, like, a lot of seafood. So um, we hold Obey true to our heart. So I'm going to give it a try. This is my first time ever doing anything like this. So... Um, let me know in the comments how did I do, if I should have just left it alone or it looks like something. Um, so let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at Wikipedia um, just to gain a little bit more information. Baltimore Spice Company, um, crab cakes, of course, garlic, lemon. It has it on it where it says like made for crab, shrimp, and chicken, um, along with the directions. It's pretty simple. Um, I want to try something. I know it is from Maryland, so I want to maybe even try our hand at the Maryland colors, which are black, red, and yellow. Why do I sound so lost in saying that? I should know this. It's black, red, and yellow, right? Yeah, black, white, red, oh, and gold, but, okay. Oh, wait, that's Maryland Terps. No, Maryland State. Y'all, I'm not tripping. Maryland State, yeah, okay. Now you start to second guess yourself for things. Okay, anyway. So the Maryland State colors, like I thought, were black, red, yellow, and white, but they say gold. Okay, so with that being said, I kind of want to add that. So I'm going to go to my artboard, and I'm just going to kind of put the colors up, and then I'm going to also pull a picture of the current Old Bay. Well, uh, label. I do want to label with a logo. Corner is going to know. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Okay. So let's do. The old base season. Okay. So we can have this for reference. Again, I don't think I want to make it deviate too far from the plan. I mean, all the colors pretty much stay intact except for the navy blue would then find its way to black. Um, yeah, okay. So let's get started. So I'm going to write out obey a couple of times to see. So, Futura is kind of already close to what they have, but what if we even found a, like a nice, written font, <clears throat> like a Like this. 
then maybe stacked. Okay, that could be an option. Or flick, and then let's see. What else? So this has a weight family. I don't like the cutting. Okay, what about it also being a serif? I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. And then also let's try. Kira's not bad. Kira's not bad. Let me try one more. Just gonna give myself a couple options here. And then we can get in to it. million fonts and i only use like maybe five of them it's kind of insane oh this mount heels is kind of nice too okay so we're gonna get rid of the first one because it kind of just looks like what they already have now maybe if we can do a pairing uh, I feel like this one's more on trend right now. And I think it would look nice. I actually kind of really like this Mount Heels though. It'll give it a vintage -y vibe. And I wanna do something that takes me out of my comfort zone. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Um, okay. We're gonna get rid of this. And maybe we can see if these two can play along and get along. Matter of fact, let's move this to the side just in case something goes left. Okay, so we are going to, oh, and then, oh, let's see what kind of fonts they got. Oh no, we don't like that. Oh, they even got something funky with the Y. Okay. Got any bees? I like the original B. Okay. Any contenders? I don't like how that stretches. No. The looped L. No. Let's see. No. Well, actually, that. Okay, we'll play with that. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we can take, right now the background is mainly like the yellow color and I actually wanna make that different. I don't know if I want the black to lead or the red to lead or maybe introduce like a tan color, which might be nice because especially if we continue with the fonts that kind of look like vintagey. So maybe we can it's giving throw up. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. So like that kind of tan color, I like how that like pattern together. So let's start with that. I'm not drawing to scale or anything. I don't have any dimensions. I'm just kind of winging it. Um, if I'm going to ring it correctly, though, it's probably wider than it is taller. But Okay, so we're just going to go with this as the artboard. Um, yeah, I think I'm only going to do the front of the label and then just kind of go from there so actually i don't know i always tell people to be better than me i am terrible with layers it is like i can't even say organized chaos it's just chaos um but i get it done okay 
Okay, so I'm going to actually put this on layer two. Go me. And then I'm going to, there's something about this font though. It just looks so, so great. So now I need to move all of these up and put them on layer two. Um, oh, how did I, why did I lock it? Okay. Okay. So, old bay. This is about to look very vintagey. It's like we have an option. Can we do? You, do we want to go back or do we want to go forward? Let's just go back. Okay. So let's also. I want to see what this looks like with two. Maybe if we round it on a curve, if we put it on a curve. That and then the word seasoning. Let's see. Can we really spell today? Uh -uh. I don't like it already. Let's see. You come in here. Actually, I think I want it on the same crutch, maybe. Okay, so I kind of like where this is going. Alright, for some reason. Okay, let's make you a little bit bigger. I mean, you do have the whole jar. The jar doesn't have that many words to it, so it's not like. I need to leave a bunch of room for stuff. All right, so this is with the tan. Let me see what it would look like if this was. That's aggressive. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Let's just keep laying stuff out and then go from there. Um, so it does have that strip where it says crab, shrimp, and chicken. Um, I feel like I have, so let's 
some already assets that I found um, a while ago. Seafood, when I was working with a seafood brand or a restaurant. Um, yes, I was working with a seafood restaurant. But they only have the crabs, shrimp, and no chicken. But that's my, that might not be bad because I'm from Maryland. Right now, we're just going to make it for that. You can always add chicken in there, okay? So I'm going to grab this. Um, and I believe I got this asset from... Flaticon, free pick, right here, free pick. Um, so, thank you for that. If you can tell by the name, it was free. Okay, um, so let me grab this. I'm gonna go back. Okay. So I wanted to. Ooh, child. Okay. So there we go with the crab. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab, what was it? Shrimp. Um, can I illustrate? Not really. Um, so for my temperament, um, I get a lot of pre-made assets or a contract. Um, I do, I can here and there. Sometimes if it's nothing too complicated, um, but I try to stay in my lane. You know, <clears throat> don't want my stock to go down. People think I know how to do something, I don't. So we're going to, I kind of like it just hanging off. Well, it wouldn't really hang off. It would kind of like fold around, but for the sake of this. All right, so we have Old Bay seasoning and then for seafood, poultry, salads, and meats. People are gonna ask where is the, uh, it's like Wendy's, where's the beef? They're gonna be like, where is the meat? All right, for, Seafood, come on, poultry, Casey, poultry, salads. Have you ever put Obey on salads? Okay, grammar-wise, this is incorrect. It should say for seafood, poultry, salads, comma, and meats, but I digress. All right, and then also we have same great, same, wait, same great taste over 75 years. No period. Okay, and I think I actually want this to be in this font. Let's bring you down and actually let's put you on two lines. I'm gonna like hype it up. Let's just do an uh, exclamation point. I think that's something to be excited about, you know? Okay, we are going to Give us some breathing room. Okay, so we have that. Okay. Didn't lock you back, I'm sorry. All right, same great pick. You are still not right.
Okay, so I'm trying to find a way to pull in um, this color, especially the yellow. Um, it might be cool if I can find a way to kind of like um, scribble a little bit on the, like the shrimp. Um, I don't know, still wanna play with it. I like where it's headed though. Like, I don't think it's, it's bad this grammar is bothering me but besides the that I, i'm not mad at where it's headed um because i think we might be onto something Well, since they said salads, I wonder if we should take like a piece of lettuce or a leaf or something. This might be too much. Maybe another. I actually like it. Leave. I actually like it and want to leave it white. Um, what happens if we turn it? Yellow. You cannot see it. <laughs> okay. New plan with this yellow. some type of texture in the background. So maybe if we make it bigger and move it to the back and then play with the opacity because it does need something. Can you even see it? Any, yeah, and that's not bad. Um, uh oh, maybe if I have it hanging up a little bit more, cause, or if I, maybe if I put it on this side and play like switcheroo with it and actually turn it to like a different, yeah, like get in there. Okay, so I'm not mad at that. And then we can do the same thing with the shrimp on the other side. So, but the shrimp is different. He will really look upside down. Okay. Go back to your normal size. Okay. Make him bigger. White. Change the opacity. Go down. Maybe if I hook the tail, like, okay. All right, see, I can stand behind that. Maybe a little bit. Okay, I like where that's going. That's better, because it, it did need something. My phone zapped out on me um, at, while I was talking, but I don't want to waste the video. 
because I was like, this close to being done. So I'm going to say thank you and hope you enjoy it. And I will see you next time.